Good morning, European traders. Privateer FX coming at you Monday. February, what day is it? 19th, almost the second month over with. Wow. Holiday short and weekend today. Week today, we've got President's Day in America. The Canadians are out for some other type of holiday. Of course, China is on their little Lunar New Year holiday, so they're not even around. Most of Asia is taking some time off this week, so pretty muted overnight. We had a very interesting uh, daily bar in Euro Friday. Made the new high, then fully bearish engulfed and closed well below. This should engender sellers today at the open, so we're expecting uh, some Euro sellers here at the open and probably a move down to... Uh, 123.70 today. Cable similar but not quite as powerful. 140 is your bull bear line. 130, 139.95 uh, looks like that was. 96 was the low on, on Friday. Uh, you could probably expect stops below there. So now we've had two days. 93.5 on Thursday. 96 on Friday. Those lows are matching up. Dollar yen. Looks like we've printed a turn bar with a higher high now today. High's been 52. We're trading it at 49. I don't know. Does it look like we're going to get a little bit of dollar bullishness going into the FOMC minutes on Wednesday? Seems a seems a likely story. Aussie. Stopped in its tracks up there at 88 on Friday. Now we have a horizontal line here at 78.94. Not super powerful unless we get risk off, but something to keep an eye on. Kiwi, we're looking at both sides now. Obviously, the 74.37 level, super important now if you look at the longer term, triple top. But if this has turned, we kind of have a little bit of a neckline here. On the downside, let's draw this just to be cool, cool in the gang, celebrate good times. Shoulder, head, shoulder. This breaks uh, 73.77 today. Uh, we're just basically looking both ways. If the dollar goes higher, then we expect stocks to peel off a little bit. We're hanging around this uh, 27.45 area. No strong feeling in stocks now. We, we do believe we're still in a bear market or the beginning of a bear market, but we also believe that there's no reason that we can't revisit even higher just to screw uh, conventional bears. So if you're going to sell now, you really your risk reward is totally upside down because you got to leave a stop above the year's highs, which really doesn't make a lot of sense. You're better off waiting for it to engender some sort of downside momentum and, and look for something like that. But if we do get dollar buying today, which it looks like we are, this probably means stocks will turn a little bit today. Doji on Friday. Uh, so price is down through 27, 23. Give the bears a little bit, a little bit more life. Bitcoin bid traded up to uh, 11,200. Um, we're you should be done trading out of your longs that you purchased below 9,000, and now you just sit long, waiting for what we call maybe a five-star level for a momentum trade higher. Otherwise, re-enter your ridiculously low bids um, for the next scare the left and just sit with your core longs now uh, and your tidy average. Yield 287, not doing too much. Um, we got FOMC minutes on Wednesday, this will be key. We also have all sorts of stuff, we've got lots of speakers from the BOE, Carney addresses Parliament this week. We have also ECB meeting minutes on Thursday. K 
CAD retail sales, CPI, Aussie RBA minutes as well. We've got a lot of minutes coming out from central banks this week, so this should create some vol. You got to keep your eye on the timing of these. And is the South African budget coming out this week? Hmm. I've got to check on this, but if we do have South African budget, this is really never good for Czar. Uh, and the downside with Czar, I think, is overdone. I mean, the Bloomberg article on Friday kind of said it all. South Africa is like the second shittiest place to live in sort of economic terms right now. Um, you know, it seems a bit overdone, this, this move from 14.4 to 11.5 good 30 percent so we're looking for a turn in dollars are uh, the real confirmation point is above 1220 but if we get some cheeky place to get long down here on the 11 handle we will take advantage of it all right I've said enough for now I will uh, n I might see you at the New York Open or I might take uh, lunch with the gang we shall see otherwise I wish you all a good trading week and a good trading day ahead Talk to you later. Ciao.